projects. Huh? Projects. So, so samurai projects. People were I miss that rap so much. I am haunted by it, and now the world may join me. The assassin on the beach was a lotus assassin, a minion of Death's Hand. More will come. Yeah, who is Death's Hand? He is the right hand of the Emperor and rules the Lotus Assassins in Okay, I'm getting guess who's Dragon Face. Who was killed at Dirge, a death few men have orchestrated. He shows no hesitation and gave no thought to the lives of those he faced. His influence poisons the Emperor. Why would he listen? Why would the Emperor listen to Death's Hand and not his own brother? Oh, hey, it's going to be Krusty from uh, from uh, KOTOR 2. Really? I think so. Because he's in the armor, so it's either going to be that or he's going to be Annihilus. Because Annihilus was, what, nothing mm -hmm. in the end? Said to me no hato. How many brothers? So he's the youngest of the family. Huh. Sun High was the eldest and therefore Emperor. Oh, never mind. Sun yep, Kin okay, was... yeah, he was the spare. Sun Kin was the youngest. I kind of want to know about my people. Yeah, go ahead. The Emperor knew nothing of the land of Howling Spirits. I found its people to be honorable, but I can't tell you more than that. There is no time to learn more. Okay. All right, I want to know who Death's Hand is. Oh, wait, I already asked yep, that. Yep, we already yep. know who that one is. Um, Your people were guardians, but we did not have a clear idea of what... Why would you kill guardians? You know, they never... No one ever knows. They're like, oh, what are you guarding? And it's like a lot of times the guardians begin to forget because they've been guarding it so long they just know it needs to be away. And then someone's like, well, how bad could it be if you're uh -huh. here? You were meant for something important, but because of my actions, it was denied you. Stories about ghosts, the assassin on the beach, you are tied to this. Our dead no longer drift to the underworld. They wander and oh. going mad. In time, they may overwhelm the living. It began when your people were disturbed. What was, um... Oh, God. Who was the main character of KOTOR 1? Uh, Darth... Of the Empire, and not Bane? The no, no, not Bane. Uh, you. Yeah, I know, right? Tip of the tongue syndrome. Darth Malice. The first found us by accident. The next attack may not be so Wasn't it Revan? Yes, Revan. Okay. Yeah. Darth Revan. Did, did Revan have an ability? Like within the game itself or just as a... In the game itself, in war. Uh, I'm blanking. It's been... To be fair, it's been like 10, 12 years since I've played KOTOR. Mm -hmm. um, which I guess I really should... Do a playthrough, um, but I'm not sure because uh, I know in the sequel you play as Revan's apprentice, and you have the ability to like siphon the force from other people, and you can like take the force like Nihilus could, mm -hmm. just not to the same extent. And just the fact that Kraya was ultimately the Sith Lord. It is not hard to hide something. You need only master keeping the secret. Why is it a bar to the school? Partly the strange skills of Dawnstar that showed me to the corruption, and partly something that belongs to you. Uh, well, it is thought that spirits naturally try to find their way to the underworld, but if their lives or deaths were painful... Oh, okay. Later, that makes sense. Yeah, sadly, I, I can see that. Some share of tragedy in the past. Something of yours has allowed me to keep the students protected, but the dead will be everywhere soon enough. You must enter. Um. When you emerge, you will know more about yourself and your destiny than I can explain. And All right. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Master Lee's not the first master. Do we get to know about the former masters of this school? Oh, I was hoping I could probably save. Oh, no, it did just save, didn't it? It, it did just save there. Sturdy gate, message carved in Master Lee's writing. Spirits go mad if denied passage to the underworld. They are strong, but you can fight them. You can't kill the 
dead. But in defense, All right. they are disrupted and cancelled. You are tied to the reason by spirits wonder. Many a year have your people fell, and some I held in this cave. They are drawn to your amulet. I thought we didn't have an amulet on right now. We do not. The amulet was what he picked up. Ah. It, it, it's his MacGuffin. Oh, okay. If I had to guess, I would say that amulet's what's going to allow you to fight the Dark Hand. In some way or another. Oh, Lord. Ah, oh, so I'm going to open the face. Hello, Pillar. The dragon amulet was with you in Dirge. I understand that it does, but you are the one meant to be trained in Zeus. I am sorry that my actions denied you this. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> Since gems are used by healers and upstart sorcerers and are common enough to be wasted on ornamentation. But with this amulet, you can okay. tap their true potential. This is where the dead shows up. Yeah, thanks for grabbing that while you saved me. Flawed warrior gem. Okay, so this. Okay, so you can get stronger ones as you go. So that's equipped. Your people were adept at using essence gems. I kept it from you because power is a beacon. That's true. Even mindless spirits may be drawn to you, just as they were confined. Okay. In achieving your. That's fine. I'm always down for a fight. Even a ghosty fight. I think with him you have to fight fair-handed. I think I have to, yeah, I think. Ah. Oh. Hello. One thing I do hope that you can get in this is uh, Drunken Fist Master. I don't know if you can, but I'm hoping that that is an ability. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. There we go. I love the, like, the, like, settle the power back down and kind of, like, walk away from it almost. Uh, and then there are bamboo things beside you, too. It's also a base. Oh, hello? Wow. That's just rude. You said bamboo... Yep, right there to the front behind that, that uh, fire cauldron. Candelabra. Can't get those. Okay, those don't have anything in them. Not all bamboo has that. This feels kind of wrong to be... Any more bases on here? It looks like that's progress oh clearly legible My student, I hope you realize your importance the restless dead must be allowed to find their way to the underworld all of us will suffer if things continue as they are seek the source so I have to make sure that the, the dead get back to the like get to the underworld, or else we're all gonna suffer. Yeah, you're pretty much car on at this point. Okay. <laughs> we're a weird place to save. So one of my favorite uh, Chinese proverbs uh, that there is is uh, uh, a great emperor dies and goes to heaven, and. Uh, or he's going to be reincarnated anyway. It doesn't matter. And he sits there and he gets to he gets to the gates and the guy goes, Hey, you did many great things in your life. As a reward for all of your good deeds, how much you helped humanity, I will offer you um, I will offer you one, like anything that you wish. And the guy sits there and he goes, Okay. He goes, Well, this is how I was defeated. Um, my army was crushed because we fought a force that was greater than us. And, you know, we ended up being destroyed. So I wish for you to show me the greatest general the world will ever know or would ever know. And the guy goes, done. 
claps his hands, and they get teleported to a humble shack. Inside, there's a guy who's making shoes. He sits and goes, but this is a humble shoemaker. He goes, yes, but this is the greatest general the world would ever know if someone would just ask. <laughs> and that's supposed to be what it teaches you. <gasps> Japanese tree. maples! One of Mrs. Play's favorite trees next to the ginkgo. Interesting. Mm. Yeah, mine would be the dogwood, then the ginkgo. And then probably... Oh. Hello. Hello, probable form... The stench? I'm not stinky. Is this the first master of the, uh... Is this the first master I of the school? I think this is the first master. Man, okay. I'd be frustrated, too. Mm-hmm. Oh. All right, buddy. I was hoping that it was going to give you, like, hey, you could talk. Hey, stop. Get rid of the ads real quick. Yeah. You're on uh, your wind. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can do a AOE with the. Hammer. You can do an AOE with all of it. Yeah, apparently. All right, I forget that you're still immune to the. Wow. I love that he just seems to, like chase those up with you as he's like shooting the ice egg. Okay. Okay. That's the big version of his attack. So, if I had a theory here, mm -hmm. because he's the old master, it's not that you were so much better than him. It's he's been dead so long, he's not... Powerful? Anymore. He's still powerful, he's just not as strong as he was. Whoa. Is that my mom? Who are you? This almost sounds like the uh, the bum bum ba -da -da, like whenever the moon is rising or the beginning of Star Wars when Luke's like I need to go on my quest and the two suns. Yeah, yeah. Them. That's what it almost reminds me. But small things can move beneath the notice of others. Your master hopes that you will grow strong while he leads the predators away. His reasons are cloudy. But you must find a way through the fog. I'll try. You are the one who can heal, the one who can act. Search. I'm a spirit monk. Cool. You the last spirit monk. monk. You are the last spirit monk. Oh, God. I feel like by making us choose the staff, I really played into that stereotype. A little bit. A little bit. Look, Gen Z, man. Gen Z is going to do it. <laughs> I almost forgot we were called Gen Z. <laughs> no, this is going to be the Gen Z Chronicles. You know, I'm typically... I'm not typically. I'm technically considered a Gen Z. I learned that. You're like 24, 25? 25. Yeah, I think you're like the you're like the tail north end of Gen Z. Because I'm the tail south end of, I think, millennial, if I'm not mistaken. I'm, I was so upset about that. Because apparently being a millennial ends at 96. And apparently being a Gen Z is 97 to 98. But I feel like 97 is more of like a, the year out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, oh. I'm going to ask the bottom one. I have energy enough only to instill knowledge of one. Hmm. I will let you choose this. <clears throat> 
I'm technically a water sign, so I'm gonna okay. go. But the spirit can also turn cold and strike with grim resolve. Command this, and you chill the hearts of your enemies. Yours is the power of ice shock. Heck yeah. Uh oh. There is no inherent villainy in any martial action, only in the hearts of those who wield them. If you rely too much on simple force, then you cannot act without it. I can do no more. I must fade. Pity those spirits that have oh. existed. You will come to know their pain when life leaves you. Pity the world if you fail, spirit monk. Oh, you are this is like Kenna, the spirit, uh, Kenna Bridge of Spirits. God, it's almost the same as that. What? Huh? 